In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Cover 3 to absolutely bag the IFE or the Strong Clothes in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And one of the ways that we're gonna do this is through, we post videos on YouTube every single day that are designed to just give you tips and strategies, tools, tactics um, to work through. And so if you haven't already subscribed yet, I do wanna encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to do so. And if you wanna know whenever we release a new video, go ahead and hit that little bell icon that's gonna turn on notifications. That way YouTube will let you know whenever a new video comes out. All right, guys, so strong close. Uh, this is the defense that I like to run whenever I run strong close here. Uh, this is 25, 10, and 5, and we are using the Mike Blitz 3 as our base defense. I think that cover 3 is really, really good right now um, with the latest patch. And so what we're going to simply do here is we are going to send some heavy, heavy pressure about the majority of the time. The overwhelming majority of the time, you will see a ton, a ton, a ton of pressure. And so the way that we're going to use this is basically what we're going to do is we're going to stand right here behind the, the center. And all we're going to do is we're going to spread our line. I apologize. We're going to shift our line uh, to the right. We're going to crash our line out. And then we're just going to stand right here with our user. And basically what's going to happen is at the snap of the ball, we're just going to run right through the A gap and sack him before he can even throw it. If we don't, if they, if they pick us up as they did right there, um, if they pick us up like they did right there, Typically what's going to happen is you're going to get some edge pressure. So you're going to get somebody three as long as they don't block the running back. So again, you might, I, I might've been too close. It is a little bit. It is one of those things where you can't be too close to the line of scrimmage, but at the snap of the ball, that's what we're looking for right there. We're going to try to get that pressure in before our opponent can even throw the ball. We're going to be able to take away both flat zones. Now, one of the other things that I actually really like to do as of late is I love to use Instead of double flatting, a lot of people are used to playing uh, double flatting. I like to put a flat and a curl. So you'll see here I got that hook curl on the outside, and then I have that curl flat on the right side to take away anything quick. And you're going to see you're going to be able to take away a lot of drags, a lot of quick slants and things like that, and the pressure is going to come in super fast. Now, what I like to do off of that is a max coverage setup that is really, really effective against strong close, um, and that's a cover three setup. So what we're going to do here is we're simply going to, I mean, basically just run max coverage defense. It's nothing too complicated, especially for strong close. But all we're going to do is we're going to shade coverage down, and then we're going to put both linebackers onto seam flats, and we're going to put the right of screen defensive end onto a three rec. And what you're going to notice here is this is going to take away a lot of the popular concepts that people are going to be using uh, from this offense. You'll see here the little motion, motion snap. Uh, these crossing routes will be absolutely bad. You see if they try to throw a crossing route, you're going to have a lot of really good um, you're just going to have a lot of really good defenders in the area. And like I said, you're just shading coverage down and then you're just manually uh, putting those guys in the zones. And like I said, you know, if they go to something like an FL drive or they go to something like that, your job is simply to lurk the middle of the field. But you'll find that your three rec does a pretty good job here. You see how that three rec kind of drifts on him and then you can kind of drift back. The biggest thing that you have to take care of yourself is any tight end post route, that's your route to guard. If they run a tight end post route, that is 100% your, your route to guard. One of the other things that I haven't hit on um, a ton is I, one, one other little adjustment that you can use, and this is a little bit more of a situational adjustment, is to put the right of, it's basically to put both of your linebackers onto vertical hooks here. And, and that's it. I mean, that's literally all you got to do. Just put both linebackers on vertical hooks. And what you'll find is this is really good for like short yardage type situations. Um, these little quick out routes are very hard to complete right now because of the way cover three works and because of the way these seam flats are just going to be really, really effective. Um, you know, so you can do that. Another thing you could do if you wanted to is you could obviously put your, uh, what I, the way I would do this is I would go ahead and hot route, um, Whoops, uh, I would go ahead and hot route my my slot corner there to a seam flat, or I'm sorry, to a to a hard flat, and then that way I can keep that purple zone on the right. So I have something that looks just like this right here. 
we still have a lot of middle field coverage taken care of and so it's just not an easy thing and like i said your main responsibility is just this tight end post route as long as you take the tight end post route um until it pa you can pass that off to the to the purple zones there's really not going to be a lot of things that they can do so let me show you that one more time so again i'm going to put that flat zone out there so now i have flat two vertical hooks and then i have the middle myself and so you'll see like if they try to do kind of that standard route combination those motion slants are not going to get open it's going to be very difficult for those motion slants to consistently get open and so as you'll see here as a result you're going to feel pretty good about your about your defense one of the other things i like to do in that situation um, out of this cover three is i'll put a cloud flat like if if, if it's a right situation kind of thing and they're always motioning over as soon as they motion over circle, like almost as soon as they motion over circle, to me it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and just put the circle uh, corner into a cloud flat right there. And now you're going to have a coverage that looks basically just like this. There's no vertical threat on the right side of the field. So having him in that position is going to absolutely lock it down. So those are some little tricks of the trade. So, you know, basically you start with like a traditional, okay, he's got you know vertical thread on the right vertical thread on the left but then when he motions that vertical thread away so like out of fl drive you'll see the motion like that that's where i like to go ahead and just put that cloud flat out there and then you'll see something like you know something like this right here and this this defense does wonders for me i mean you'll see that middle third does a good job he'll take the post if they try to throw it the post takes so care of it um, and as you can see, you're able to play some really, really good defense. So anyways, that's the nickel 335 wide cover um, cover three style defense against strong close, how to use it to take away a lot of the popular concepts that people are gonna be utilizing out of the strong close. So if you wanna get my full defensive ebook, it is available in the description of this video for just 15 bucks. Um, it shows you a ton, a ton about how to use these defenses based off of formation and threats and things like that. So it shows you everything you need to know. It shows you how to send pressure, how to play coverage, how to stop the run. All of those things are rolled into one defensive ebook for you. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. And again, that ebook's just 15 bucks. And if you want to pick it up, it's in the description.